Prince Harry's phone call with UK veterans sparks controversy, PR stunt or genuine gesture. In a highly publicized incident, Prince Harry's recent phone call with UK veterans has ignited a firestorm of debate and controversy. The Duke of Sussex, known for his long-standing advocacy for the military community, found himself at the center of a heated discussion after his attempt to connect with former servicemen and women was perceived by many as a tone-deaf public relations exercise rather than a sincere gesture of support. The video circulating on social media presents a compelling case against Harry's actions, arguing that the prince's phone call, made from the comfort of his luxurious Montecito mansion in California, was hurtful and disrespectful to the veterans he claimed to champion. Clips and transcripts from the actual phone call reveal Harry seemingly lecturing the veterans, with his tone and language coming across as patronizing and out of touch. The stark contrast between Harry's privileged California lifestyle and the struggles faced by many veterans back in the UK only serves to highlight the disconnect between the prince and the community he purports to represent. This disconnect is further exacerbated by the broader context surrounding Harry's relationship with the UK press and the military community since his decision to step back as a senior member of the royal family. The video suggests that this call was a misjudged public relations move, a desperate attempt by the prince to maintain his public image and connection to his roots, rather than a genuine expression of solidarity and support. The conclusion drawn is that the call backfired, upsetting many UK veterans who felt that Harry had become disconnected from their day-to-day -day struggles and concerns. One of the key details highlighted in the video is the significance of the call's location. The fact that Harry chose to make the call from his Montecito mansion, a luxurious property far removed from the lived experiences of the veterans he was speaking to, was seen by many as a tone-deaf and insensitive decision. This choice reinforced the perception that Harry has become increasingly out of touch with the challenges faced by the average person, let alone those who have served in the military. The video's visual elements are equally impactful, with screenshots of news articles and tweets criticizing Harry's actions, as well as stock images of the prince and his Montecito mansion, serving to drive home the point that this was a misjudged PR stunt rather than a genuine act of compassion. As the dust settles on this latest controversy, the question remains, was this a sincere attempt by Prince Harry to connect with the veteran community, or was it merely a desperate attempt to maintain his public image and relevance? The video presented a compelling case against the prince, painting a picture of a man who has become disconnected from the very people he once served alongside. Ultimately, the fallout from this phone call serves as a cautionary tale for public figures who seek to use their platform for political or personal gain. While Harry's intentions may have been noble, the execution was flawed, and the result was a further erosion of trust and goodwill between the prince and the British public he once held in such high regard. As the world continues to watch the unfolding drama surrounding the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, this incident will likely be remembered as a pivotal moment in Harry's post-royal life, a moment that highlighted the challenges he faces in maintaining his relevance and connection to the causes he holds dear. Only time will tell whether he will be able to navigate these waters and regain the trust and respect of the veterans he has long sought to support.